This is really a pretty unique data pack. It is op structures. So what exactly does this data pack do? Well, this data pack makes it so the structures that normally generate, generate with some different blocks, okay? Oh, hey, keep watching to the end because there is something special I'm going to mention at the end. It has to do with chests. Let's look over here. If you're wanting to know how to load a data pack, that's for another video. Just go search it. This is about what the data pack looks like. This is a desert pyramid, and very interesting that it get, spawns right here with the ocean view. Maybe I better type in seed in case anyone is wanting to have that seed for any reason. Isn't that cool? But yeah, that's what it does. It look it, it, it makes it spawn with different items. Oh my gosh. Block in the other right. Oh. Wow. And, and lots of iron, lots of diamond. They really are op. I mean, <laughs> no lie in the data pack title right there. No lie. <laughs> okay, let's do something else. Um, locate village. Oh, my goodness. Okay, give it a moment. Give it a moment. Okay, it doesn't look like the village is going to change. Okay. That's okay. Let's do something else. Locate... Let's do... I don't know. Igloo. Let's see if it, an igloo looks any different. Huh? Where's the igloo? This... Oh! It's a diamond igloo! Oh <laughs> my goodness. Well then we gotta go down and see what's going on down here. Oh, is this... Does this not have a basement? I must have done it wrong, right? Oh, must be the one that doesn't have a basement. No! What's an igloo without a basement? Oh, well. <laughs> Diamond's probably all worth a lot more anyways. Okay, let's go locate... Mineshaft. I just gotta see if anything underground has changed. Okay, let's do this. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't know about you, but this looks the same. I don't see anything different. I have a feeling that the mine shaft is one of the few things that doesn't change. I'm glad I'm doing this video so I can show you what ha what it changes and what doesn't. Just so you know. Ooh, that is cool. Okay, we're not done here yet. Locate. We still gotta go to the nether anyways. Okay. Now it's gotta generate, so... Oh, there it goes! <laughs> gold! Oh my goodness. A gold monument with, with emerald. Oh my gosh. You'll be trading so much. Well, you come here to the monument, mine all this gold, and you will be going to the nether <laughs> to trade with the piglins. Okay, that's it. We, we gotta... Go. Well, what ha is there anything here we haven't gone to yet? We should... Oh, we have to go to the mansion. What are we thinking? Give it a moment to generate. Okay, okay. Boom! Oh my gosh. Block. Look at all those blocks of netherite. Now, okay, so this is the most op so far. I mean, you'll make monument everything. Or netherite everything. Totally. <laughs> See, a lot of the original blocks remain the same. You know, like some of the wood ones, the stair ones. But not all of them. Some of them... Some of them change the crazy things. This is really quite cool, though, you know. My goodness. Okay, well, uh, we, we've got to go to the nether. Got to go to the nether. Okay, one sec. Oh, no. Uh, we need obsidian. And flint. Okay. Locate. We're going to do the fortress first. Here it is. Diamond. Oh my goodness. 
Let's see. Wow. A lot of this is hidden, isn't it? Oh my gosh. Look how much of this is under is in the nether, you know, hidden underground. That's, that's a lot. This is a very unique fortress. I mean, it's a good thing I opened up the seed so you could see it. This is an, a very unique seed, guys. Irrelevant to the data pack. <laughs> how cool. Okay, well, we know what's here. A lot of diamond. I've got to see the Bastion Remnant. Then after that, we're going to the end. Okay, give it a moment to generate. Come on, come on. Boom! Iron and gold, huh? Well, those piglins should be happy, all that gold. So I guess, you know, not as valuable because it's a lot of iron, but you can still do a lot with iron. Kind of makes the fortress the more valuable thing. Okay. Uh, sorry, guys. I just, I, I gotta do this so I can go to the end. And yes, you can make your own end portal. If you're in creative. Just make sure you stand in the middle when you build it, or else it won't work. Whoops. Boom. Okay, 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 come, come, come. Okay, okay. What about you? Do you... It's not generating. I'm going to guess that doesn't, but the end city probably does. Generate, generate, generate. Boom! Gold, emerald, diamond, block of netherite. Oh my gosh. This has almost everything. Only thing I'm not seeing is iron of the major blocks. Okay. Okay. This is op. The end city. This is the best place to come to get everything. Pretty much everything. Gosh, this is like ridiculously valuable. <laughs> Oh my goodness. And is... Let's see my elytra is still here. There it is. It's an elytra. Good thing. Wow. Oh, wow. Talk about valuable. Is it... Do you usually find this much stuff in these chests? Is this part of the data pack? This seems like a lot more than usual. I don't know, but my goodness. Okay, yeah, that doesn't spawn here naturally. <laughs> so it really does. Okay, so if I hope you guys have watched to this point of the video because if you didn't, you really missed out. The chest loots are changed. I mean, that's ridiculous. But that is awesome. This is op. Op chests. Op chests. Okay. Great. All right, well, I think we've done a pretty good job exploring, guys. We've seen some op things. We've seen some cool structures. We've seen some cool looting chests. Op is so right. So if you want this data pack, I'm going to put it in the description below so you can go and get it. It's awesome. you got to at least check it out.